do you need to share Airtable data between teams but don't want to give them full access? Or you want to create reports from multiple sources? There's a feature for that, and it might be exactly what you need. In this video, I will go through the following. What Airtable Sync is, when you should use it, and I'll also show you a demo of how to use the syncing functionality. Let's get into it. Welcome back. I'm Zach from InterDev Solutions. We help businesses streamline their processes using custom no-code tools so you can focus on what matters most. To learn more, you can visit our website, interdevsolutions.com, or use the link in the description below. To keep it simple, Airtable syncing allows you to pull records from a view in one base and sync them into a table in another base. You can do this across multiple sources or multiple tables. In this video, what I'm gonna show you is how to bring in and sync data from different views and tables into one base. For example, you could do this if you had a projects base, so you'd have customers and projects and all the tasks associated with it. And let's say you needed to sync those same customers or clients into a finance base, you could go ahead and do that. The other nice thing is depending on the plan level that you're on, you can have it just be a one-way sync. It's basically just a read-only table and the end user in the synced base is not able to edit or make any changes. If you are on a high enough plan like business or enterprise, you can have a two-way sync where you're allowing edits on one base and then it will update it in the other. A couple other reasons you may want to use the sync is cross-team collaboration. Similar to what I said about the projects and the finance tables, depending on if you have different teams that need to be able to see different data. Let's say you have a projects table and you want to show the closed and one deals to your management. You can easily sync that information into another base, and then you can create dashboards and different reports that are specific and important to that management or executive team. Now I'm gonna jump into a live demo. If you do not have an Airtable account already, you can go and set one up for free. However, the sync functionality is not available on the free version. This specific video isn't going to be that useful for you if you don't already have a paid account. There is a lot of other things and I have a lot of other videos on Airtable and what you can do and you can get started for free to test things to see if it will work for your specific needs. Let's get into it. I have a really simple base here with multiple tables. I have purchase orders and then the line items associated to it. And I have delivery orders and the line items associated to the delivery orders. Now I'm gonna show you how to just sync one table to get started, but I'm also gonna show you how to sync the second table. Now in this demo, it's going to be important to be able to sync the purchase items and the delivery items into one table so that we can get an accurate reporting of basically inventory moving in and out. And this is the best way to do it because otherwise you're just going to have two different tables. You'll have to extract as an Excel or a CSV file, merge them into an Excel spreadsheet, Google Sheet, and then run your reports that way. We're going to take this purchase items and we're going to sync it into a, another base. I have a base here, just called it transactions, and I'm actually going to ignore this table one for now. And I'm just going to go up here and click the add or import. I'm going to go down to add from other sources and we'll choose an Airtable base. Now I can choose my orders sync base. I can go choose my table, which is called purchase items. And then I can actually choose a view. If I go back into orders here for a moment and I'll open up my views panel, I only have one view and that's actually what we're going to use. But let's say, for example, if you were syncing a customer's table or even this purchase items table, if you only want to sync in purchase items that have actually landed in your possession, you could create an additional view, set up a status field, and then filter by it's in the warehouse, something along those lines. And you could just sync those items, but I'm just going to sync all of the items, there's only 10 here for the purposes of this demo. I go back, I can select grid view, and then I have to enable syncing. I can do it directly from here. If I go up to share and sync, and I'm actually just gonna select this enable syncing. It will take me right to the base that I need, and I can enable that. As I mentioned, if you were on the business or enterprise plan, you can allow edits from other bases, but we're just gonna leave that off 
for. Now if I can close that out, go back to our transactions base and I can hit next. It's going to ask me what fields I want to sync. I can choose if I want to sync all of them or only specific fields. I'm just going to sync all of the fields. Now, in reality, you're probably going to have a lot more fields than this in your purchase items table. And some of them may only be relevant to this transactions log. And in our case, all of these are probably going to be relevant. I'll just continue and hit next here. It's asking me if I want to sync the link to field and I would have to create a syncable view in that purchase orders table as well, which is this one. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm only worried about the specific line items. I can actually, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go specific fields. I'm going to disable this one here just because. Now, realistically, I wouldn't mind having a reference of what it is, but I'm just going to disable that for now. Big deal. And I'll go ahead and I will create this table. You should see it populate with the data from this orders and purchase items table. And then I will be able to go in and add another source. Now we can see it has done the sync on the grid view. I'm just going to change this name to transactions and I will hit save here. And now that we have done the sync with the date, we can actually add in columns or fields that only exist within this specific table. I'll show you why that will be helpful in just a moment here. And now when I go down to the transactions, I'll hit this drop down. I'll go add records from, and now I want to add records from the delivery items. So essentially what's happening is this purchase items is saying we're getting inventory in, and this delivery items is taking the inventory. When I go back into this, I'll add records from air table base. It's going to be the exact same steps. Chose my orders table or my orders base. Now I'm going to choose the delivery items table and I'll just choose this grid view. I have to enable syncing. I'll enable that and I can go back and we'll hit next. And within a few minutes, it should sync up. And again, I can line up these fields. Court the SKU obviously matches the SKU. The delivery order, I'm going to disable that one. Purchase item, I'm just going to disable that quantity delivered. I'm going to put this, the quantity ordered. It's not the right naming convention right now. And the notes, I will disable that as well. I'll add the source a few minutes here. It should populate and you can see that it's created a new field for us automatically so that we can see what the sync source is coming from. Best practice now, because they both say grid view, what I should actually do is go in and I'll call this one delivery. I go back into purchase items. I'll call this purchase. And then within a few minutes, it should sync up here for us. We've got the quantity ordered. The unit price wasn't available. We didn't add that one in here, but that's not so much what I'm worried about right now. It's this quantity ordered that I want to focus on. And if it takes a few minutes to update, you can go click this drop down and we can just click sync now. And you can see that these updated for us. What I'm actually going to do is just hide these two fields. This is quantity ordered. Now, in this case, it's actually probably just best as quantity is more accurate. If we want to look at the number of units that we have in stock, I know we have a bunch of different SKUs here, but if we look at this right now, it's not going to look accurate. It's showing 424. That's actually the number of units that we've purchased and sold. What we could do to get a more accurate report is if I click this plus icon, we can bring in a formula and we'll just write a simple if state. We're going to say if the sync source is equal to delivery, then we'll take the quantity and we'll multiply it by negative one. So we can turn it into a negative number. And otherwise, we're just going to take in the quantity. Go formatting, change the number if you want, and I'll just create this field and I'll just call this units. If I hit save here, we'll go back and down to the bottom. And if we look at the sum, it's now showing a total sum of 30. What that's done is it's taken all of the purchase orders. So there are units in that we've purchased and subtracted by the units out. Now, this can be also be helpful. If we had the unit prices for all of these items, we could see how much inventory or what our warehouse inventory is. That's how you take tables from two different sources 
and combine them to be able to generate a report that otherwise wouldn't be available without some manual intervention. There's a lot more that you can do with syncing. You might have noticed when I click this add or import, we can add from other sources as well, like Google Calendar and Google Sheets, and you can automatically sync from those sources as well. And you can see there's plenty of others. Some of them are only available on the business enterprise plan, but they are available there. This video was just to show you how to get started with the syncing functionality within Airtable. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials in the future.